The Prime One Studio Penguin has arrived. It just got delivered and first impressions are this box is incredibly heavy and is incredibly massive. Check out the size of this box. We're talking about the Penguin, which is a small character. I'm starting to see why the shipping was so much money on this guy. This might be one of the largest boxes I've received for a statue. But yeah, I'm curious to see what's inside. Let's get them unboxed. We're gonna do a review and take an up close look. Okay, so as mentioned, this comes in one very large box. It is a double layer. Here's a look at the top layer. So right away you can see there's a lot of parts. I'm going to get the tissue paper unwrapped and we'll take a closer look. All right, and after removing all of the tissue paper, you can see what all those parts were. So let's start off with the portraits. This one is going to be your comic book portrait with the longer nose. Looks really good. Over here we're gonna have the Arkham game head sculpt. Again, that's looking really good. He's got like uh, the ventilator on his neck there. I never noticed that on the uh, prototype. It's pretty cool. Okay, moving along. We have the Jason Fabok inspired portrait. Try to get the best lighting for you here. When I do the review, I'll take some better video for you guys. But right now, I'm just showing you what you get in the box. And then, and then over here, we have the Danny DeVito Batman Returns portrait. Wow, that's looking crazy. Look at the teeth. That is really cool. So far, I'm really impressed. Everything is looking a lot better in person than their uh, production photos. Uh, one thing that really caught me off guard as I was unpacking the tissue paper was the size of this penguin. I mean, look at the size of this thing compared to my hand. This must be a good almost 12 inches tall and it is heavy. It weighs about a good five to 10 pounds. So I'm starting to see why this box was so heavy. Uh, the box, by the way, was 60 pounds. So, really heavy box. Really big penguin. Even the penguins look really good in person than they did in the uh, Prime Ones, you know, website production photos. All right, moving along over here, we have the Vulture. This one's a little bit more lightweight, which is good because that's going to stand up on his hand. This feels more like a a plastic resin so it's really nice I don't know if I'll display that but again another big piece uh, we have the bag full of money so now they do put a sticker here saying do not pick this up by the handles the handles are fragile so if you're gonna remove this do not pick it up by those handles again another heavy piece prime one definitely does not skimp out when it comes to the weight of parts everything is really high quality and heavy so over here we have another penguin this one's a little bit smaller over here you're gonna have one of his hands this one's holding his pocket watch uh, another hand with nothing in it then you do have the hand which will hold the vulture he's got the bird glove on as well as the vulture's feet, which will key in. 
over here we have the umbrella the umbrella is mixed media it's like a nylon fabric so we'll take a closer look at that later then we have all these stacks of money that goes onto the base $50 bills looks really good I like that they put on the bottom like these felt pads so it's not going to scratch up the base it's like a really nice soft material so they did that on each stack of money they all have that felt bottom so I'll just give you a quick look at the money and then over here be really careful when you're unboxing this there's a really tiny part there and it was just crumbled up in paper it almost looked like it was garbage uh, I believe that's probably the top or the tip to the uh, umbrella over here you're gonna have this cigarette with the cigarette holder a blade and some other part probably goes to the umbrella and then over here this was taped down this is just an extra felt pad so I'm not sure where that goes yet but again I always appreciate prime one including those felt pads so you know you don't scratch up the statue parts but here's an overall look at the top layer You'll definitely need this for reference to know where everything goes back because so far there's definitely a lot of parts. All right, let's get the, the second bottom layer open. We're still missing his body as well as the base. Here's a look at the second layer with the tissue paper. And wow, this statue is completely catching me off guard every time I open something different. His body is absolutely massive. his body next to the size of my hand it's absolutely huge as well as the base the base is massive i was not expecting this statue to be this big all right let me get the well let me just do the tissue paper now since there's not a lot of tissue paper here wow the base is really cool looking they have like this snow effect on it see all the little glimmer so really cool wet effect make it look like ice and so far, I'm really impressed. Let's take a quick look at Penguin. So you do get fur. It's real fur for the mixed media. But everything else is sculpted. It's looking really, really good. First impressions. Let's see what we have over here. Okay, we have one of his arms. Really cool. The fur is really soft. Feels good. <laughs> and then over here, looks like we have another arm. All right. So let me get this guy assembled, and then we'll take a nice up close look at him. I'll give you my thoughts on him, as well as any complaints. But so far, first impressions is this thing is absolutely incredible. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So taking a look at the statue. With this specific statue, uh, this is the one-third scale penguin by Prime One Studio. It does come with that Batman Triumphant companion piece. If you purchase both of them together, you do get a discount, or at least a small discount on Prime One's website. But basically, you could display this with Batman on the building, standing behind him. Which I can tell you right now, just looking at Penguin, he is massive and extremely heavy. So I can just imagine what this is going to look like with Batman standing hovering on top of him it's going to be truly impressive but speaking of impressive i really like what they did with this base you have this gotham street with all the architecture as shown during the unboxing it has this snowy effect with the glitter kind of sparkles when it hits the light looks really good it does come off a little bit, so be careful if you're handling the base. Don't go, you know, touching the rest of the statue after that. Uh, looking at the back of the base, it does come with all these different stacks of money. I actually didn't even put them all on because you do get a lot of them. So just for the sake of the review, I didn't want to cover up the entire base. This way you don't miss out on the snow effect, but it does come with more stacks of money. You can put those wherever you want. I kind of just quickly place them wherever for now. Same thing with the bag. You can put that wherever you want, but this is where Prime One recommends you putting it. 
on the instruction booklet. Uh, all those gold coins are part of the base that is not removable. So this base is extremely heavy. It's extremely wide. I would say the base weighs probably a good 25 pounds. Uh, same with the penguins. The penguins were very heavy. Another maybe like good 10 pounds. Uh, penguins body was also extremely heavy. Everything feels very solid. Uh, just the body itself, again, maybe 10, 15 pounds on the body. So I was really surprised at how heavy and how solid they actually made this statue. So that explains why the box was so heavy. But yeah, I'm really liking this look. Um, looking at his shoes, you have a nice gloss black shine. And then these like nice glossy silver tips, which looks really nice. The pants are like a light purple with stripes for the texture. Looks really good. It's like a light lavender color. If I can get it to focus. Uh, taking a look at his vest, it's nicely detailed. You get all that embroidered look as well as the chain. The chain is sculpted. The fur is mixed media. This is real fur. It's nice and soft. Feels good. Got the handle of the umbrella, which looks like a bird's head. It's really nice. Moving on to his pocket watch. Nice detail with all the numbers. So when you're putting this hand in, you want to make sure it goes in all the way because the fur kind of gets in the way so just make sure you move the fur out of the way and then really get the hand in there good so it doesn't fall out so again this would be the Jason Fabok portrait the portraits all of them are actually really impressive I thought I was only gonna like this portrait but I really like them all so I'm glad I picked up the bonus version so look at his bow tie the umbrella is made like a real umbrella. You can open and close it. And then, if you remember during the unboxing, there was an extra piece of um, black felt. They recommend that you put that on his shoulder so you don't scratch up the shoulder with the metal umbrella. This is metal. Uh, for now, I just have it leaning on the fur, so I'm not too worried about it getting scratched up. Um, as far as the arms go, I really like the way they pegged in. It's a nice, strong connection. It's another look at that portrait. Look at his top hat. You do have all that texture up there, as well as that light lavender color. It's about the same color as his pants. Let's swing around. The back take a look at his jacket so you have all of the leather texture that prime one's always great at doing another look at that umbrella okay so let's switch up his look because you can change the look of this and we'll put on a different portrait and maybe we'll swap up the umbrella. You can switch the umbrella to where it has the, the tip of it is a, a knife. So that small piece there in the unboxing, it was part of the umbrella. It just clips on right there. So if you're wondering where that small little black piece goes, that's where it goes. But if there is any confusion, Prime 1 does include tons of instructions as well as where all the parts go as you can see you have that side and then a whole bunch more instructions on this side of all the different options you can use uh, to switch them up so let's get them switched up and see how he looks before we switch up the portraits I wanted to give you a look at the vulture so this hand definitely went in a lot smoother and the vulture just the body keys on to his legs. The legs are attached to the hand. Feels nice and sturdy, so that's always a good thing. 
it's a pretty cool look. I'm not sure I'll use that, but here's what it looks like. It's nicely done with all the feathers. So there's a look at that. All right, let me get the uh, the portraits swapped out and we'll take a look at those. All right, here's a look at that other portrait. This one's a little bit more comic book inspired. I think this portrait probably works best with the umbrella closed. So he looks angry. So I think it works best with the umbrella closed like he's getting ready to attack Batman. But here's how it looks with the, uh, the pocket watch. I'm really impressed with the portraits. They look really good in person. Uh, with this one, you do get a small hole in the corner of his mouth where you can put the cigarette. Uh, I didn't do that yet. Uh, that might be one complaint I had as far as like looking at the pictures because the cigarette goes right into the fur, which, you know, would pretty much like, you know, burn his fur. So I don't know why they did it like that. Maybe they could have put it on this side. So like, you know, the cigarette isn't lit on top of his fur, but that would probably be only be my nitpick with this statue so far. I'm going to have to try to push down this fur. A lot of it right now is covering his face, but uh, I'll do that off camera when I'm getting ready to display him in my cabinet. But yeah, this portrait's looking really good. I'm actually liking this portrait, maybe even more than the Fabok portrait, which I thought this was going to probably be maybe my second favorite. Here, I'll show you what they look like side by side. So with the one on the right, you get the longer nose. That's kind of how those are looking side by side. So they're both really good. Really good options as far as comic book portraits go. And then later we'll take a look at the Arkham game portrait as well as the, the Danny DeVito inspired portrait. Let me know which portrait you guys like best so far. Would you use the one on the left or the one on the right? One with the longer nose or this Jason Fabok portrait. I can't decide yet. Uh, this monocle on his eye, the chain that comes down, does move a little bit. So just be careful. It is a little fragile, don't break it. Take a closer look at the portrait in the light. I do have a bright light shining on this right now. Let's aim it this way. So that's how that's looking. Looks really good. You can switch out the portraits without removing the umbrella. Just be careful. Let's take a closer look at this one. So this one does have a real chain that moves and it does magnetize to the bottom of uh, you know, his key down there. So be careful if you're going to key this in that it's not uh, you know, attached to the magnet by accident the way it is now. But yeah, look how good this looks. It's really impressive. I think this one might be actually be my favorite. Looks really good. Really, really, really good. All right. Uh, let's put on the Arkham portrait and see how that looks. Okay, before I put it on, I'll give you an up-close look at it. Really good with all the skin texture. You can see like the pores on his face, the cracks around his eye. So, looks really good. All right, let me get this put on. All right, and there's how that portrait, this is the Arkham video game inspired portrait, which I'm sure made a lot of collectors happy because we were waiting for them, you know, for Prime 1 to make a Penguin version. Uh, but they never did, but at least they gave us a portrait for this uh, Jason Fabok inspired statue. So. so again, I wasn't expecting to like this portrait, but it does look really good in person. It's pretty impressive. 
So it's great that we have all these options. And it'll definitely make those Arkham game fans happy that we got this portrait, at least on some type of penguin statue. All right, let's switch it up for the Danny DeVito, and then we'll finally switch up the uh, pose for the umbrella. All right, so here's that Danny DeVito portrait, and wow, this looks insane in person. Uh, I was a little worried because on the photos on the website, it didn't look too good. And I was starting to second guess my purchase as why I picked up the bonus version. I wasn't planning on using these portraits, but I figured, you know, maybe one day I will, so... Figured, why not go for the bonus version? And I am really glad I did because these look really good in person. Let me put this down so my hand's a little more stable. So, check out those teeth. Looks really good. The eyes look really good. It's really creepy looking. All the different strands of hair. It's really nicely, uh, nicely sculpted. It's a side profile. Sorry for the shakiness. These portraits are slightly heavy and I'm balancing a camera and different equipment at the moment. So I'm doing my best to capture this for you guys. But yeah, it looks really great. All right, let's get this on the statue so we can stabilize it. So you can see it better. Okay. So here's how that's looking from far away. Again, that looks really good too. Get a lot of great looks with this statue. Huh. It looks really crazy. Look how good that looks. Look at the eyes. say that's the shot right there that's a great shot of him that's how it looks in person it's really impressive all right let's switch up uh, the umbrella and see how that looks okay real quick while I have the arm and the umbrella off I'll show you how this kind of keys together so you get a, a really nice big opening for the key as well as for the arm this is uh, the second arm. So now that the umbrella will be held lower, like he's using it for a weapon. But as you can see, you get a really nice long key. Feels nice and sturdy. Let's see if I can get this on with one hand. Okay. I did it. So you can see how that's looking so far. Uh, here's the umbrella. I closed it up. So as mentioned, here's that little black piece. You definitely don't want to lose this. Uh, so that black piece goes on the tip if you're displaying the umbrella open. And if you're displaying the umbrella closed, you're going to use this part on the tip. And then the knife goes on top of that. I didn't realize there was a knife on the tip of this umbrella. I always thought this was going to be like a gun. I think I have this on backwards. Let's see. I think this goes here. Maybe this doesn't go there. It looks like it goes there. Yeah. Not really sure where this goes. All right, let me get this figured out. I'll be right back. Okay, and here's uh, a new look at the uh, the switch up with him holding the umbrella as a weapon. It's got the, the tip with the knife. Looks really cool. Uh, I was able to get the, what do you call it, cigarette in his mouth. It was a little bit difficult. There is a hole in his mouth, but it was a little difficult to get it keyed in. But uh, yeah, as you can see, as I was saying before, it kind of just like sits in his fur, which I don't know doesn't really make sense to me but it is what it is <laughs> that's how they designed it um, I still can't figure out where this piece goes at first I thought maybe it went somewhere down here and maybe it does I just can't figure it out I looked in the instructions I don't see it anywhere maybe I'm missing it I'll have to take a better look later but as of right now 
I don't really need it for anything. Everything seems to be going together okay. So I'll have to figure out where that goes. But yeah, I think this is probably my second favorite look. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So yeah, that looks really cool too. I think that's a great look right there as well. So I'm not sure how I'm going to display them. I might display them like this or I might display them with the umbrella open. But as far as the portraits go, I'm pretty happy, I think, with this portrait. And we zoom in now. You can get a better look that the umbrella isn't blocking all the, the light. So you can see his eye through the monocle. Looks really good. All the, the texture on his face. It's really cool looking. So you do have to switch out that hand. This way he just, uh, the umbrella rests in his hand like that. So it's really cool. I'm really happy with the statue. I'm definitely glad I picked this up. Uh, I can't say I have any um, complaints about it or anything negative. I would say so far, first impressions, my only negative uh, things about this statue is I think they went a little bit too heavy. You know, usually we say we're not happy when statues are too light. Well, in this case, they went really heavy with this statue. And if you're getting this in person, you'll see what I'm talking about. The, the base is heavy, the body is heavy, and the penguins are very heavy. But it's definitely worth picking up. It was definitely worth the money. I'm going to take some photos. I'll post them on my Instagram account. So if you're not following me on Instagram... Definitely check that out. All things art on Instagram as well as on Facebook. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of future videos. I'm headed to Baltimore Comic Con in a couple of weeks, so I'll have some convention footage as well as New York Comic Con. And uh, yeah, there's always tons of repair work as well as painting kits and a little bit of 3D printing. So, tons of stuff coming soon to the channel. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care.